Good evening, my people. Thank you for coming back to another Tony Montana video. Please say hello to my little friend, Bushman. What's up, Bushman? What's up? He's my boy. He's 11 months. He's hanging out. He, he did a little bit of treadmill. Not too much. It was like five minutes or so. And now we're walking because that really what is what he likes to do. Walk, walk, walk. So, uh, we are going to say, Bushman. See, he hasn't learned those commands yet. Little by little, he'll learn from trial and error. So, we are going to talk about uh, co ownerships of dogs. Is it a good idea? Bad idea? Horrible idea? Great idea? What? Uh, it, well, I'm going to give you my take on this. Obviously, you, you may have had. Um, other experiences with co-ownership with dogs or you just you haven't done it and you're thinking about it well in my idea in my thought is that it's a bad idea most of the time there might be here or there uh, 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 um, what reasons why it may be a good idea if like for example you know the person outside the dogs you guys know each other for many years no and, and, and almost almost kind of like you could you could have your your friend hang out with your girlfriend or wife and you won't be a, you won't have a problem if you guys are bffs and have gone through the trial and tribulation together outside the dogs even inside but outside the dogs i'll say why it's outside later uh, uh then perhaps you can do uh, a co-ownership. I personally do not recommend anyone to do co-ownerships. I've done it twice. I've done it one with, uh, well, twice. And twice I've, uh, it, it turned out to be bad situations. The second time I, I did it with a second person, I really was telling him, no, I really don't like that. I really don't like uh, uh, doing co-ownerships because there's a lot of bumping of heads. And I told him, I don't fuck around. Excuse me, I don't mess around. I, I, I speak my mind. And uh, I'm not gonna let my my ownership of the dog be infringed by somebody else that feels one way or another separate from me. So, I personally do not recommend anyone from co-owning anything. But, if you have to co-own for whatever reason, economics usually is the case. If if, if you want to co-own the dogs, put everything in writing. The all the facts, all the expectations on both sides, and what happens if those expectations don't come to fruition. Okay? You have to literally, even if it's just you know, because you could, you could make enemy out of your be, uh, out of your best friend. You could make an enemy out of out of a out of a, a family member. You know, you could you could make an enemy out of plenty of people. So I do ask that you really think about cloning if you really want to clone a dog, especially if you're not even going to keep the dog. You have somebody else keeping it. Uh, you know, there's a lot of things. Every little step. Of that dog you have to you have to plan now and agree in writing because a year two three four five years from now six years from now what you agree verbally may change completely on one side or the other so putting everything in writing would be the best starting point if you want to co own a dog with somebody else you know it's not like I said I will I will never Underline this, I will never uh, co-own a dog with somebody else that I have to put money on. Because again, if you're both putting money in it, you might as well buy the dog with yourself. So, uh, I really don't think that the, here's some of the things I've, you know, the expectations of, oh, I want to take it after a certain age, you know, this and that. <laughs> again, if you don't know the person, if you don't know, like literally, the whole family, their family, like that, you're not, you're not type of friendship that you can say nothing's going to ruin the friendship. Even if you still, even if, even if you sleep with my wife, 
if, if that's the relationship you have, that even if you're sleeping with your wife, it won't be any issue, you might be okay with a co-ownership. Otherwise, too many people in the, in the kitchen, they say, if you're thinking one way, the, guy, the other guy is thinking another way, and then, no. So, yeah, you gotta think about that, man. Uh, what do you guys think about that? How do you think about co-ownership? Have you had co-ownership of dogs? How did it work out for you guys? Uh, like I said, my last one was it's the, literally the last one I'm going to have co-owner. The most I'll be able to, uh, most I'll do is uh, uh, be co-owner, but I don't pay anything. I'll just raise the dog, leave it. I'll raise the dog well. Uh, I guess I'll invest. I'll, I'll take down on the expense of raising a dog because my dogs they all eat raw they, they don't eat kibble they don't eat kibble so you know if it was a deal that it, I don't pay anything I keep it for X number of months maybe a year and a half then give it back to you with expectations you know whatever expectations that's different when we we agree upon that not that you know some people you know if you deal with me, you're dealing with a guy that will talk his mind. Will he'll not a guy that is not going to stay quiet. I'm not that type of guy that stays quiet. You know, I'm not the type of guy to get to get intimidated. You know, I don't get intimidated, man. I don't. I live life without fear. I don't care. You know what's what. I do care that I people don't think me a, a sucker. I'm almost fifty. Believe it or not, I don't look it. Uh, people say I don't look even close to 50, close to, but I'm a, close to 50. So I, I'm not down with that little ch children thing about I'm gonna wait for you in the outside your house so I could beat you up. You know, I, I, that, to me that that time has passed. Don't get me wrong. If somebody swings at me, I'm gonna swing back a couple of times. I'm gonna defend myself and neutralize the. Uh, the potential danger okay that that is my legal right to defend myself so that will I will do I will let you swing first but you know I will defend myself and neutralize the situation even if it has to be a broken arm so that you can stop swinging all right and if you start swinging with the other arm I'm gonna break the other arm if I have to Again, I'm not that type of guy anymore. I'm almost 50 years old. I have a career. I have a family. You know, I even have grandchildren. So it's ridiculous to think that I'm going to be responding like a 15 year old, 70 year old. You know, it ain't, it's not that, it's not that type of, uh, I'm not that type of person. You know, I, I'm mature. So, Again, if you want to save yourself from situations like this, because for you might be even worse. Maybe you're dealing with people that carry guns all the time. Maybe their their uh, vacation is coming out of out of jail. You know, then that's even things that you have to be more careful. You know, you keep if you but uh, above all, if you give your word, you keep your word. If because. You're giving your word, it's like putting your nuts on the table. Okay? So if you break your word, you chop you chop your nuts off. Because you're no longer a man. Okay? So I like I said, I just two people I uh, two people that are no longer men in my eyes. They're just uh, you know neutral people. You know, just to, not to insult gay people, not to insult uh 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 <laughs> not to insult anybody uh, way of, of, of living their life so go ahead man pull he's whining like it's the other one they, they want me to run but they don't I, I really got to get the, this the other one the ex, uh, the shh, shh, come on let's go but anyway man hope you guys think about what I say about uh, co-ownerships you know, it really isn't a great idea. You know, I, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. I do remember one thing. I do have a co-ownership with, uh, that I, it's okay. I really like, 
But this is for the female that I put, that she stacked up nicely, you know that? The guy didn't pay a dime for it, you know? But he is taking care of the dog. I've seen the dog uh, a few months ago. She, uh, she looked fine. He takes care of her. And I hope that he does. If the dog turns out to be a great, uh, above average, I may use her uh, for the next generation. Or I may use mine. Or I may use both, you know. And then from there, I show my appreciation to this guy for the co-ownership. He didn't pay a dime again. But he, if he's taking care of, well taking care of my dog, then I, I will bless him again. Because that's how real men work. You know, I, I, some people are freaking nickel and diming in this world, man. Nickel and diming because they, they prefer not to work. They prefer to hustle you know, other people out of their money because they don't work. So, you know, you got to think about that too. You got to pay attention. Observe the person you're, you're about to jump into a co-ownership. What type of person is he? Does he work? Does he have a family? Is he, is he stable mentally? Has he been... Do you know where he lives? Do you know where his family lives? You know, do you know where the dogs live? All these things are all around what you need to, to continue um, in agreement. If you don't know anything about what well, is, you have to stop. Now, if you also notice that this person you're going to be co-owners with is doing shady things to other people, heads up. That could be you. That's telling you, he's showing you his car. He's showing you his, you know, his real, real personality. Because a lot of these guys act real nice, like real good, like good people. When they're just scumbags looking for a dollar, you know. So, you know, I'm not naming anyone. That shit is like, you know, I only named one person because that person was unknowing. And he started uh, trying to start lies about me so I, I came up and created this channel the second person nah I just feel you know d disappointed I would say of that person and I kind of I just have to think that this person has some sort of mental deficiency because again he met me knowing that uh, I, I, I was breaking down some other you know some other person that's how he he met me, knowing that I don't I don't stay quiet, knowing that I you know I will I will speak up you know I, and I don't you know I'm not afraid of anything you know I, I, shit shit will happen you know I can't stop what I can't stop so I live my life the way I want to live it and hope for the best. Corran 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 ah si sí se puede. Hey! <laughs> I'm messing with some shorty Mexicans that are running. Uh, so, yeah. Oh, there's a dog there. All right. So, uh, yeah, yeah. So you have you have to think about that. You see who the type of person he, the person is, who he hangs out with. You know, if he hangs out with a lot of uh, people that do, uh, you know, shady things. You know, something. There's a saying in Spanish. You know, tell me who you are, and I'll tell you who you are. Excuse me. Tell me who you hang out with, and I'll tell you who you are. That's the saying in English. So, a lot of times. Thank you, man. Thank you. Thank you. So, just be careful, man. Especially when I, I remind you guys, 80% of the people in the dogs are no good. And ten percent of the good people are not really good. They they they're good in a sense, but they still do the shadiness of the bad people. Get me? So I really have to tell you: you need to be careful. You need to be. Uh, I'm, I'm trying to get him to, but they come to me so close. I'm trying to, but see if I could give you a good image of, of him, how he is right now you know it is what it is bro guys and, and, and ladies I know because there's ladies that are into these dogs <laughs> the, the, the super minorities they're like maybe 
0.01% of the uh, of the fraternity are women dogmen. Oh, dog women, real dog women, not not just uh, the wives of dogmen or, or wives of bulldoggers. You know, because a lot of the people that consider themselves dogmen are really more bulldoggers and dogmen. But again, the 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 the, the phrase or the the word bulldogger is fairly new. Uh, uh, we started that. I st well, I developed. Well, I don't want to say I. The, I. I was involved. Let's say in the evolution of a title for most of us that are not dogmen, but you know, the, you know, have another word for it. So we. I started saying dogger. You're dogging. your dogger. But somebody else in the said. Uh, I think it was in the pro and pro and game magazine chat he mentioned bulldogger which is made it more of a more more of a sense more unique to our dogs since we most of you guys i don't call them but most of you guys call these dogs bulldogs oh that's a bulldog right there so it makes sense that you know bulldogging is the is the act of doing things with your dogs all right so so for people looking for a de definition Bulldogging is the act of doing things with your American people terrier dog. You know, I'm, I'm gonna leave it at that. Anyway, I hope you have, hope you find something positive, uh, helpful. Maybe somebody's in thinking of thinking about that. But I want to make sure that you guys know. You know that co-ownership is not a pretty thing. It's a very difficult thing. It will break. It will destroy friendships that are you know, obviously not real friendships. They're just, you know, you know, like, anyway. This is Tony Montana wishing you a fine looking, wishing you a night, good night. Again, I'm going to try to get you my picture of my dog. He's 11 months old again. His name is Bossman. So, I uh, will talk to you guys some other time. I'll see you on the next video.